Hello everyone, welcome to Fawson Weekly Update. This video will introduce to you what happened in Fawson last week. Let's begin with the two pieces of news regarding the results performance of our subsidiaries. Lanfang Group, a global luxury fashion group, announced its results for the full year 2022 on 20th April. The group achieved revenues of 422 million euros, a 37% increase year over year versus 2021. Lanfam, the group's flagship brand, grew global revenue by 64%. On 21st April, Fosun Tourism Group announced its operational performance for the first quarter of 2023, benefiting from the overall growth of its core business. The business volume of the group's resort, Atlantis Senya, operation of Vacation Asset Management Center and other tourism and leisure services for the first quarter of 2023 increased by approximately 37.2% to approximately 5,888.9 million RMB as compared with that in the same period of 2022. Should a Spirits Sharing Wisdom with the World and Should a Brand Night was launched in seven European and Asian countries namely Italy, Germany, France, Spain, Portugal, the United Kingdom, and Singapore, during 5th March and 11th April. Mr. Guo Guangchang, chairman of Fusun International, joined the launch event in Portugal via virtual attendance and said, the Lijiang Simple Fulity, jointly launched by Simple Fulity and Shanghai Fusion Foundation, is coming soon, and the performance details and schedule have been announced. Apart from breathtaking scenarios and performances, Fusion Foundation has partnered with many Shanghainese brands to search good items with exceptional quality and local characteristics for rural regeneration throughout the 73 countries in China. Through Fengsheng Foundation's Rural Doctors Program, products like Rural Doctor Coffee and Meeting Store Pastries will help rural doctors achieve their goals. Fidelity and Multicare are once again finalists in the Marketeer Awards Insurance category. On 21st April, the third episode of Fosun's Kaleidoscopic Collection series featuring short videos of its brands of 2023 was available online. This episode took you to the 68-year-old Shanghai Watches manufacture and assembly facility and invited a senior specialist to show you how to manually assemble a local watch movement. Well, that's all for this week's update. Click to follow Fosun and get more updates on Fosun every week.